Honey, can't imagine why you're here. I thought you had some important mob business to take care of. I went to see my father in that prison facility for psychos. Not that he needs to be locked up. The man's paralyzed. Is he completely paralyzed? He can move his head. <laughs> that's it. But he knows you. Yeah. Yeah, so that's one step ahead of my mom. Well, I started talking to him, but, you know, he's in and out of reality. In and out? Hey, you're two steps ahead. Sorry. It's just one minute. He doesn't know who the hell I am, and the next he's screaming at me like I'm eight years old. Is he getting worse? No, really. He's been crazy like this for years. And you won't walk away until you're just like him. Most of my life. I'm not seeing him the way he is now. I saw your dad. I usually get my dad's attention by doing the exact opposite of what he says. To be honest, he is most proud of me when I stand up to him and tell him to go to hell. Look at you. Nah, not really. You saw what a brat I was running around Windermere trying to lure your dad out. You were trying to help. Yeah. I guess I wanted to take that risk. I think it's genetic. I mean, before I was born, my mom was an adventure junkie. You, my dad... You wave something dangerous in front of his face, it's like waving a cape in front of a bull. He goes at it with everything he's got. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, except now Emily's dead and my brothers are in hell and my dad is having heart attacks and for once I am just going to stay out of trouble. You don't seem like somebody who just follows the rules. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can admit it. I was obnoxious at the ball. That's one word for it. <laughs> Oh, look who's here. My beautiful little princess. And the newly crowned prince of the underworld. What are you doing? Out of the hospital, you could have another heart attack. I could have a lot of things. A heart attack, a stroke, internal bleeding. Hell, I could even burst into flames spontaneously. But I will not be an invalid. Dad, please. You're scaring me. Okay, relax, little girl. Just relax now. Ah, there's only so much tapioca and tap water I'm making. Take before he needs real sustenance. I gotta sit down. Dad, uh, where is the car? How did you get here? God. It felt really good. Really good to ride the wild side. It feels good, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Cupcake? Uh, oh, no. No. Oh, oh my god. Oh. on the test from your emergency room. Yeah, you can tell my little girl she has nothing to worry about. If you call nothing an episode that nearly killed you. Aren't you the doctor that said I'd never survive another heart attack? Here I am. Let me tell you something. It's only because your daughter and her friend brought you in themselves. Trust me, any other way, you'd have been DOA. Excuse me. Have you met anyone so stubborn? I mean, why would somebody who can help themselves refuse? I don't know. They have something to prove? It's just so stupid. I mean, if you lose an arm or a leg, you can't make it come back, but there are a million things that my dad could do to help himself. He could have the surgery, he could change his lifestyle, whatever. I mean, he's sneaking out of the hospital, getting drunk, almost killing himself. It's a death wish. I think he wants to live. On his terms. Anything else may as well be death, you know? You don't even know him. I know what it's like to live like you're in someone else's cage. You are just as bad as my father. You have the chance to escape, Johnny, to get out of the house with all of its ghosts, but you're the one keeping yourself prisoner.
Excuse me, uh, Mr. Zakara. Your car's waiting, Dr. Nicholas. In a minute. With all due respect, John, Miss Spencer, I wouldn't wander around in Corinthos territory without protection. Thank you, Trevor. I'll let you know when I'm ready. I will never believe that this will make you happy. Don't say anything about happy. You gotta stay true to who you are. Huh. More like who you think you're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs>